If there are fewer than eight zeros between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit in the decimal expansion of quantity t over 1,000 to the fourth power, which of the following numbers could be the value of t? 3, 5, or 9? So the first thing I think, so the first thing that would be useful to do here is to phrase this t over 1,000 to the fourth power a little bit better. That's the same as to say t times 10 to the minus 3 which we can deal with a little bit better because then we can take this fourth power and then distribute it. t to the fourth times 10 to the minus 12, which tells us that the distance between the decimal place and that first digit of t is going to be 11 zeros. So basically what you wanna do is take this number and it's just gonna be that minus one. So if that's a minus 12, there are going to be 11 zeros before the first digit of t because that first digit of t is going to be in the 12th place. So let's look at three. So if we make this three to the fourth times 10 to the minus 12, that's going to give us 81 times 10 to the minus 12, or 8.1 times 10 to the minus 11, which is 10 zeros. So that's not going to work. The second one is going to be five to the fourth times 10 to the minus 12. Five to the fourth is five squared squared, so 25 squared, six to five times 10 to the minus 12, which is gonna give us 6.25 times 10 to the minus 10, which gives us nine zeros. We're getting closer, but still not there. The third one is going to give us nine to the fourth times 10 to the minus 12. Now, nine to the fourth, is 81 squared. I don't really care what that is, but it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 6,500. It's not really worth calculating. I'm gonna say roughly 6,500 times 10 to the minus 12, which is gonna shake out to 6.5 times 10 to the minus nine. And look at that, there are eight zeros here. However, just be careful, because what's the question asking for? Fewer than eight zeros between the decimal point and the first non-zero digit. The lowest we're gonna get is eight zeros itself. So that's not fewer than eight zeros. So our answer, in fact, is going to be A, none. If you found this video useful, the best way to support the channel is to click the like button or subscribe on YouTube. And if you're interested in getting a free 23-page GMAT properties of numbers guide, you can click in the top right-hand corner on the little information box, and you'll find a link to that guide right there. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.